feature race for day two is the Queen Mother Champion Chase. And I'm so sad that I'm not going to be there to witness Willie Mullins finally collect the trophy for this race. It's the last championship race that he hasn't won. He will win it this year. No one can tell me otherwise. Chacun Poussoir, unfortunately for all our South Seal fans, is going to mop up in the Queen Mother Champion Chase. Yeah, I think he might blow out, actually, Dave. Um, it's interesting. He's never travelled before, so he's got to deal with that new track, different type of uh, race to run in. Uh, if he brings his best, like he's done at Leopardstown the last couple of times, it's going to be very hard to beat. But I'm going to start with Al to your bit of uh, the first time cheap pieces. I think that could just spark him back into life. Um, the last hurrah for me with the 11-year-old Al to your, who... Um, who is is a, a class horse on his day. So Altior for me, there's one a bit of a bigger price. So Royale, well. um, it's got fantastic form things on good to soft ground. Seven of the last 10 years have been good to soft. It's got three levels to farm with Altior uh, on the soft running of this in 2019. Um, if it's soft, it's not going to run. They'll wait for entry. Um, average field size in here is normally around 8.9 runners. I could already skip this down to eight. It's around 20 to one each way at this price. I think there's going to be a strong pace on off road. He could just smuggle into the places. Uh, coming in here on the back of a career best, he, um, he actually recorded uh, his third best highest up, uh, top speed figure at Newbury when winning the game spirit. He's only recorded two higher top speed figures in his old career, and they both come at Cheltenham, both on the old court. So good stuff around 20 to one, so real. But out to your the main selection. To take on Shaq and Poussoir, it's also 10-3 without Shaq and Poussoir, so uh, I'll be able to bit of that.